guys and welcome back to my channel oh my god it's been so long since i sat down and did a video like this i think the last video i posted regarding dentistry or speaking with you was back during covid i think that was 2021 uh so hi if you're new here i'm dr adhya and i just finished my bds degree from chennai so i've been getting a lot of questions as usual in my dms regarding how bds is and how to study and what are the scope blah 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 before I start off with this video, there are three to four videos that I've already posted regarding the entire curriculum of BDS. Frequently asked questions, Q&A video already back in 2021. There are four videos already regarding dentistry. So if you haven't watched that yet, please go watch that first and then come back to this video because I'm only going to be covering some of the questions that I haven't already covered in that video. Okay, I'm not going to be repeating it again. So I just made a list of all the questions you guys asked me on YouTube as well as on my Instagram question tags. There's literally like three pages of this. Hope you guys find this video informative and if there's uh, anything that that I haven't covered or if you guys know something about it please leave it in the comments below so that it can help others as well so this video will only strictly be about the BDS curriculum the job opportunities the scope and stuff like that and not things related to dental treatment because it's not right talking about dental treatment on social media or on like just generally without actually seeing what the patient is undergoing but there are a couple of general tips here and there which I do generally post on my Instagram now and then so first up uh, let me just tell you guys on how to really get into BDS so first thing you need to have chosen the biochem and physics uh, group in your 12th standard and that is definitely a compulsory and then you have to take up the NEET UG exam which is a standardized exam for all medical students I think it's there for MBBS BDS veterinary sciences so you have to write NEET there is no choice you have to get NEET done only if you finish your NEET UG exam and you're qualified you will be able to get admitted in either a government or a private even if the even if your university is private you still need NEET I think I was the first batch yeah so it's like been six years now since need came up so there is no more of 12th standard marks i'm not sure why people are still questioning me if need is necessary to get into dental school it is very much necessary to get into bds or mbbs as such so for the need cutoff guys I again told you i'm the first batch my need cutoff was way less my entire batch's cutoff was way 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 less because we were literally the first batch and now the cutoff is so much more higher and it keeps changing every year and i'm not following that uh you know i'm not keenly following that particular system of how the mark is and what the cutoff is and what's the cutoff in my college honestly i haven't been following it up because as the years went by i stopped bothering about what was happening in the previous years uh, another thing that a lot of you have been asking how do i choose between mbbs and bds you can't choose you literally can't choose you are most of the time pushed into bds because you didn't get into mbbs and is that like the right decision yeah, there are a couple of things that you need to, uh, you know, note before you come to BDS because you didn't get MBBS, okay? So MBBS and BDS are very similar and very different at the same time, okay? I have explained the entire course of BDS in another video, so please go check it out. But let me tell you something that before you join MBBS or BDS, please don't come to this profession if you are in the verge of earning money or if you need to be the financial support for your family because this takes a long time you guys it takes five years to graduate from this course five to five and a half years depending okay like i was in covid so i've only graduated after five and a half years in spite of being a regular batch so it takes time it takes a lot of time and until you graduate you can't really earn as such okay so if you are in a financial crisis or if you are the person who is the sole breadwinner then i will not recommend you to take up mbbs and bds it is more of a service okay because at least in the starting stage that is how it is it takes some time to get yourself more stable and to start earning money so please don't choose mbbs or bds or nursing even for that matter if you want to earn money, if you are the breadwinner, then I will highly not recommend it. But if you are a person who is very much interested in the human body and want to serve people, want to, you know, you, you don't you don't mind not being able to earn for a lot of time. You don't mind uh, being able to take up all that stress. Then I would highly suggest you to take up these courses. And uh, how MBBS is different from BDS is like I said, you have to go watch the other video where I've spoken about the complete BDS curriculum. But if you still want to be a doctor, if you still 
still want to uh, see patients and if that is your main goal then yes definitely you can come into VBS but you should also be well in advanced equipped and ready that BDS curriculum is not just a theory it has a lot of practical stuff in it a lot of clinical stuff preclinical stuff handwork just a lot of additional work apart from just studying from your books so if you're prepared for that yes you can definitely choose BDS coming to what kind of colleges you can choose again let me tell you it's completely your option okay so in Chennai or in India we have three different types one is completely government one is government self-aided and then the other one is a deemed college so basically these government colleges are completely like you know very less fees and they have like you know um high patient flow and stuff like that and when you come to self-aided it's basically a private college okay which is affiliated to a government university like for example um, my college is affiliated to tamil nadu mgr university so over here it's the middle ground here the fees is in the middle it's not as expensive as the private deemed colleges or it's not as less as the completely government colleges it's somewhere in between and the facilities and the patient flow is all in the middle ground like it won't be too much or it won't be too less it's in if you go towards the private colleges the fee is definitely more the patient flow as much as I know is medium to low and uh, the facilities are supposed to be more higher but again it varies from college to college this is not a standardized thing there are uh, self-financing colleges which is this government aided colleges which have better facilities than deemed colleges so it's vice versa it is completely uh, different and if you ask me which college is the best i don't know because i have only studied in one college i haven't been to any other college so this is all the information that i have gathered from others speaking to others and that's all so i cannot suggest you what is the right option for you or what what college you have to choose either way dentistry is dentistry okay so what basically happens during the bds course and how you cope up with all that is already mentioned in my previous video so please go check that out now coming to what to do after you finish your bds and how to choose honestly guys i haven't decided yet a lot of you have been asking me what um you know what i'm gonna do and what i have planned for my future and all that honestly i'm just taking a break i'm taking it chill right now i haven't planned of doing anything no i'm not studying for mds no i'm not preparing for me i'm literally just taking a rest taking a break because i've been uh, going to college for five and a half years continuously and i really need a mental break right now uh, so i i don't know i'm just going to go with the flow and i will definitely continue my profession in dentistry that's for sure but right now i haven't decided anything as such i'm just going to take it with the flow so that's that's pretty much how my plan is going right now but coming to the job opportunities after bds so there are some standardized things and there are some options that are not well awarely known by people around so first thing that after you finish bds is you can pursue your higher education which is mds for that you need to take up your neat mds which is again a neat pg exam and again the cutoff over there is very high and it depends every year and the college is same you know the segregation is same as how it is for ug but it's all different i mean like it keeps changing every year and since i have i did not write my neat this year i'm not preparing for neat i haven't really had a close follow-up of any of this so i'm very sorry i cannot help you out with how to figure out neat mds or how to prepare for it as such second up is um if you don't want to do mds but you still want to do some kind of a specialization there's something called as fds which is a fellowship course um it is available in a couple of colleges in chennai as well as india you can google about it and find out so they specifically have like one year two i think it's just one year courses uh, which specializes in clinicals or like if you want to take up something specifically like implantology or if you want to like something like aesthetic dentistry yeah you can do a, do that it's completely a clinical course for one year i'm not very aware of all the requirements and all that or the course structure but you can definitely check it up on google and see which colleges fellowship program but as far as i know i've heard that it's pretty good as well i do know a couple of seniors who are studying that and they seem to say that it is good and it is help them improve their clinical skills the third thing that you can do is okay i don't want to study further but i want 
want to improve my clinical skills then you can do senior internships in government colleges so the procedure for this i'm not very sure but if you know somebody in the government uh, like in the government sector or if you i think you can just approach the hospital on its own and ask uh, for senior internship opportunities um, i think it's from six months to one year i'm not very sure so a couple of colleges in chennai as well offer this and uh, across tamil nadu as well if you do this you get more clinical uh, you can develop your clinical skills you can get to see so many more patients than you had covered in your ug uh, i think this is paid the senior internship is paid as much as i know fourth thing that you can do is work in clinics or set up your own private clinic and uh, so from what i've heard is you can start going to clinics during your internship and usually for part time the salary that you get approximately in chennai as much as i know will be from 3000 to 7000 this is how it works like part time for a couple of hours in the evening and full time starts from somewhere around 5000 to 30000 full time as a dentist after bds uh this depends on which clinic you work in if it's like a corporate setup a private setup whatever so it depends on that but this is the range of how much you can earn after bds if you join a clinic i'm not aware of how much you can earn after you finish mds because again i'm just a bds graduate so i'm not aware of that there's also this uh, government exams that you can take up which is upsc and wait T N P S C. So these two exams, if you qualify, you can go into government jobs such as Navy, Army, etc. Regarding dentistry. So for more information about this, you need to check out the website. I was just going through, you know, putting up these opportunities, and I came across this. And I know a couple of people in my batch who are also preparing for it. So you can do that as well. You can check up the course uh, details and the information for the exam on the internet. Next step is becoming a lecturer. Yeah, you can definitely become a lecturer. uh after bds uh i'm not sure of the pay though because i think from each college it differs but it should be around 10000 to 20000 if i'm not wrong and you just have to finish bds and give your resume or something like that uh i don't think there's any other specific qualifications to become a like a basic senior lecturer uh i think you can do the same thing after mds as well but if you need to be promoted i think you need to do phd and additional <coughs> educational qualifications as well if you need to get into a higher post so in case you want to go into non clinicals you don't want to come into clinicals at all but you still like dentistry you can do a lot of uh, you can take up courses like that are more related to research you can again check out what are the courses that are available in india i'm not sure if chennai has that many but definitely in india you'll have more on like forensic dentistry and you know uh, basically the only non clinical part we know is um, oral pathology but there are more courses like oral biology and other things that you can you know have a look at if that interests you and there is also this other course called mph which is masters in public health which is offered in india and it's basically your public health dentistry but in like more generalized form in like more of general health so mph is a good option there's also mha which is um, masters in hospital administration so if you want to get into the administration part of um, you know hospital you can take up that course and then you can also switch to mba if that's your cup of tea if you feel like you know i'm not that much well into uh, dentistry i don't want to be in the clinical side i want to move towards the other side these are some of the options that you can take up so the most asked question again is about moving abroad and uh, honestly choosing a country for moving abroad will be a very very difficult task uh, a lot of you ask me which is the best country and all that there is nothing like which is the best country for everything there is nothing called as the best it's what suits you more than somebody else okay what's best for me will not be best for you okay so it's vice versa so for each country there are a different set of rules and if i have to start speaking about it that's going to be a whole other video but i have in done much research on it so you might have to go check out other youtubers for specific countries so that they will tell you uh, what is the procedure for each and every um, like country because each country you go they have their own licensing exam bds is not actually considered over there unless you take up a licensing exam and you can't just go and do mds in another country that's not possible because bds is not considered over there you'll have to take up their licensing exam clear it and then in some 
uh, countries you'll have to uh, do your dental course the clinical part again for two years before you start practicing and in some countries you can just directly start practicing after you finish your finish your licensing exam so there's a lot of procedure that goes under going abroad there's a lot of thing that is there so you definitely have to check out other videos like specific to the country so that you get an idea on what are the various exams that are there and you know and then make a list put your own budget and stuff like that and then uh, figure out which country you want to move to but yeah there is a lot of scope in dentistry for going abroad it's just that it takes a lot of more time to even get into the field because of all the various rules and uh, license exams that, that they have is it necessary to do research during BDS? Research uh, is actually a very good option. I mean, like you can always do it during your UG. You can always approach your professors and ask them like you want to work on something and you know, they will guide you from scratch. And uh, it's always good to have a, like, you know, some, some kind of experience with research because in case you want to move abroad, that's like the first few things that they see. And if you're also going to go to MDS, you will have to publish a lot of papers write a lot of thesis articles and having some kind of a background in UG will definitely help improve and you never know you'll probably be more interested in research side than clinical side and you can always move to that so that's like a plus point okay so another most asked question is do you regret uh, choosing BDS or um, you know do you think that this is the right career for you uh, initially when I came into this course I hated everything I hated like the whole experience I hated my college I hated the course I just hated everything but eventually I learned that uh, this subject is so underrated even though people keep saying it's saturated and there's no scope there's so many dentists there's so many dental clinics it's still a very underrated subject because when I see patients in day-to-day -day life people are not educated well enough about oral health and every time I see a patient or a person who is not educated about oral health but has opinions to speak about dentists and dentistry and BDS and just basically everything related to the tooth I feel like you know this is the profession that I need to pursue because no one's speaking about it properly that's that's why all this misconception is going on nobody is uh, you know um, nobody is really like able to uh, show what exactly or how important it is it is definitely difficult to survive whether you take MBBS or BDS okay please don't think that uh, MBBS is like way better and BDS is the only thing that's saturated no guys I think everything is saturated at this point because literally every profession is saturated anywhere I see there are like some 10 people doing the same profession that's how I see it okay even when people are going abroad or doing some course I feel like this is not some kind of a niche course everyone's doing the same thing okay so it's just like that it's it's very saturated according to me but just because something is saturated does that mean you can't survive in it I don't know I don't think so but if your priority is earning money and if you feel like you can't you know stand out uh, of your way and survive then yeah I don't think medicine itself on its own is the right choice for you you'll probably have to go for something that is more quicker and gives you money more quickly uh, because medicine as such doesn't offer you that so I have zero regrets of choosing this course uh, I do get frustrated sometimes when I see other people completing uh, before me going for their masters and going for work and stuff like that but if you tell me will I change any of the things that happen Happen? no I wouldn't because I have dreamt of this day I have dreamt of wanting to become a doctor for a very long time and when I missed MBBS and I got this opportunity I was like full-fledged ready for it okay and the subjects that I learned were very interesting for me and like I said it was very underrated a lot of people have absolutely no clue about anything going on in their oral cavity even though that's like a teeny weeny part according to many people but we have like this big huge books for that even though it's a tiny part so yeah I have like zero regrets and I'm gonna continue uh, doing dentistry uh, it will always be my profession and um, I love doing it and I still think that there's always hope and there's nothing called as having no scope in uh, any subject okay so that's it for this video I hope you guys like this video I have, hope you guys found this video informative if there's any other queries or if there's anything else that you know more about um, you know everything that I discussed right here please make sure to leave it in the comments so that we can all have a complete discussion and I'll see you next time Ta -ta, bye bye